This video does not advocate violence. The video was created for scientific and educational purposes only. Warning. Some scenes in the video may be unpleasant for viewers. If you are an impressionable person, please do not watch this video. In the video there are scenes of feeding shrimps with dead insects. Today we will tell you about a rather unusual inhabitant of aquariums, shrimp. Usually aquariums are associated with the content of various ornamental fish in them. Does this mean that they should be limited to them? No. After all, there are many other interesting options. One of them, shrimp. It is about shrimp that today we will tell you in detail, and also see how they eat. Today we decided to feed our shrimp a dead hornet. Let's see if the shrimp like this treat. And now we will tell a little more detail about the aquarium shrimp themselves. Most often in aquariums contain species Neocaridina daviti. Neocaridina daviti is a freshwater shrimp originating from eastern China and northern Taiwan and introduced in the rest of Taiwan, Japan, and Hawaii, which is commonly kept in aquaria. The natural coloration of the shrimp is green-brown. There are a wide range of colors including red, yellow, orange, green, blue, violet, black, etc. However, the red morph is more frequently sold. The density of coloration on adult shrimp, dependent on breeding, determines their sale price and quality, grading. This quality is purely aesthetic, as the size, behavior and other characteristics of the animal are more or less equal across varieties. Full-grown shrimp reach about 4 cm long. Neocaridina daviti shrimp are easy to care for in the home freshwater aquarium and breed well. They will adapt to a wide range of water conditions and will thrive in the same conditions as many common aquarium fish. The shrimp spends a great deal of its time sitting on aquatic plants, when available, and hiding in them for protection, especially after molting. They also eat the film of algae and microorganisms that form on plant leaves without harming the leaves in the process. Java moss and java fern are both excellent plants for the shrimp tank, as they thrive in the same conditions as the Neocaridina daviti shrimp and provide both the physical benefits of the plants to the shrimp and aesthetics to human viewers. Young shrimp spend much of their early life hiding among plants and feeding on microorganisms and tank algae. Java moss is easy to find and cheap almost everywhere. It grows quickly and is a great place for young animals to hide. Neocaridina daviti shrimp respond to the color of their background and substrate. If they are kept in a tank with a light-colored substrate, they will become paler, or even transparent. On a darker substrate, they take on their full coloration. Color intensity also depends on the types of food available. Live foods and those high in protein and fats are more beneficial than flake foods, water pH, and temperature. Prepared foods specifically designed for shrimp are available at some suppliers. Neocaridina daviti is a non-aggressive shrimp. They are active throughout the day and can be seen grazing on biofilm, aquarium decor or the sides of the tank, hunting detritus among the gravel, and sometimes even mating. Periodically, a shrimp will shed its exoskeleton, leaving an empty white ghost of itself caught in the plants or drifting around the tank. Juvenile shrimp will molt more frequently, as they must shed their exoskeleton as they grow. This discarded exoskeleton should be left in the tank, as the shrimp will eat it to recover the valuable minerals it contains. There have been some reports by people of some shrimp attacking other vulnerable shrimp and or fish. Possible explanations have been insufficient protein in their diet or just general insufficiency of biofilm in the tank. These reports may have their origin in confusion. Shrimp will scavenge dead fish and shrimp that they find. This could lead to the incorrect belief that the shrimp killed the victim. In their natural environment, Neocaridina daviti shrimp are primary prey. When kept in an aquarium, they are easily targeted by fish as potential food. Even fish too small to eat them may harass them and stress them to death, sometimes biting off limbs. For best results, breeding should take place in isolation. The Neocaridina daviti shrimp has become widely available in North America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. These shrimp can be purchased from online fish stores, at aquarium stores, and from private breeders, especially through local aquarium societies. There are also many similar Neocaridina species of different color and markings that require the same conditions. These include fire reds, snowballs, blue pearls, yellow shrimp, and wild types. Some species will hybridize, while variants within the same species will interbreed. Neocaridina daviti kept in aquariums have a wide range of colors, mainly as a result of selective breeding, but wild Neocaridina daviti have slightly different colors. If you found this interesting, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like. Here we will continue to tell you interesting facts about animals and insects. Bye, everyone.